Hey there, it's Dana Flemons with JP and Associates Realtors, and right now we are in some crazy times. Many of you may be wanting or even needing to sell your home while the country and the world is in crisis mode. The fact of the matter is there are many justifiable reasons for needing to move that could range anywhere from having lost a job or maybe just wanting to simplify things and cut expenses. Some of you may be relocating due to a job change, or maybe you were already planning to make a move before all this happened, or were planning a few months later, but decided to go ahead and do it now while the interest rates are low and there are fewer homes on the market. Whatever the reason, you'll want to sell quickly and get top dollar for your house. And here's a few tips for you uh, to make that happen. Uh, first of all, like I want to just say that the goal right now for a home seller is to sell their home with the least amount of unnecessary personal contact, while at the same time giving potential buyers enough information to feel comfortable moving forward with an offer. Um, so it requires a little bit different st strategy. Um, most buyers are not going to make an offer on a home without having stepped foot inside, but there are ways for buyers to experience your home virtually and get enough information to know that your home is a good fit for them or whether it's not a good fit for them and they don't need to see it in person. So this of course means um, that you'll have fewer showings, but the ones that you do have will be more serious buyers who've already determined your home meets their criteria. So as usual, you'll want to make your sh make sure your home's in tip-top shape and sparkling clean, be clutter and organize everything. You're always going to want to do this regardless of what the economy is doing. I have a checklist that details everything you need to do to get your home ready for the market inside and out. So let me know if you'd like me to send you a copy. I'd be happy to do that. Um, all of this cleaning, decluttering, and staging will make your marketing images really shine and pop and stand out um, and when a buyer sees your home in person they'll not only feel good while they're standing in your home but they'll also have a perception that you have really cared for and maintained your home so when marketing your home you're going to want to give as much detail up front as possible you're of course going to want to um, use high quality professional photography and really thorough virtual walkthroughs that not only shows what the rooms look like but what the flow of the floor plan is and the details of the finishes. Um, we all know really good photography can be deceiving and while you always wanna market your home's best features, you also want to give the buyer the information they need so they can decide if the house is right for them. Uh, let them know that the master bathroom doesn't have a tub or the secondary bedrooms are all together on one side of the house near the master suite. If those are deal breakers, they should know that information before they decide to schedule a showing. Typically, we want buyers to come inside and fall in love with the house and hope that any of their objections can be overcome once they're inside, but that rarely happens. And in this day and time, it's important that the buyers who do walk through your home have already determined that the house meets their needs and that they're seriously considering an offer. Uh, a couple other things that could really help a buyer virtually is exterior street photography and aerial photography. So a buyer can get a really good feel for the neighborhood. So the next thing I would really highly recommend, especially during these times of uncertainty, is to get a pre-listing inspection and making all the needed repairs outlined in the, respect, in the inspection before the home goes on the market. This is the same type of inspection a buyer usually gets when they go under contract on a home, only you have already done it and made it available to a potential buyer and um, it could really help you as a seller in many ways. First of all, there's no surprises during the option period for you or the buyer, and so you're both more comfortable going under contract and have a stronger peace of mind. It also lowers the chance that a buyer will back out during the option period due to what they find on the inspection report, and it may even allow a buyer to feel more confident in asking for a shorter option period in their initial offer. Um, and lastly, you're more likely to get your asking price because the repairs have been disclosed and repaired up front. The house is in the best condition it can be in and all of that information is written in black and white. There's no question. So you'll all feel better about it. Um, they'll feel better making a higher offer without having to worry about what they're going to find down the road. And last, I'll just say that the home selling and buying process right now may take a little bit more patience and willingness to work with the party across the table. Changes are happening daily, it seems, and if we all go into a home sale knowing that there may be some challenges to overcome, but that we're all working together towards the same goal, it's likely to still be a great experience for everyone. 
So as always, I'm here to answer any questions and help you in any way I can. Bye for now.